Distorts believe in miracles because last night his team was going to need one. The Habs are red hot right now. They've won two games in a row. And now for the first time this season, they're looking to make it three in a row. Samuel Urson is going to get the start for the Flyers. Caden Primo for the Canadians. The puck is dropped and we are underway. Only a few minutes in. The penalties are already starting to begin, okay? Arbor Jack is up first. He's pretty much got his own ass groove in there. He's going to take one for knocking the stick out of Forster's hands. The Canadians do a pretty good job killing it off and shortly after, they're going to get a power play of their own when Travis Sanheim gets caught for running a little interference on Jake Evans. And watch the boys go to work here. Matheson to his blind spot. Then Slavkovsky sends a, a missile of a pass towards Suzuki who settles it down nicely and scores goal number 30 for the very first time in his young career. Ain't that something? Man, he's having an unbelievable season. So his goal puts the Canadians up by one and only a few minutes later they're gonna strike again. Look at Jesse alone and being real. As real as can be, he's gonna score his first goal since like, I don't know, the Queen died maybe? Look, it's been a pretty long time, but finally, Eminem has the monkey off his back. Now it was at this point in the game where the Flyers started to get a little upset, okay? They just lost two games in a row. Now they're down by a couple of goals in this one, and things really start to boil over when Jack Eye tries to turn Ryan Paling into a digital ad on the boards. <sighs> they didn't like that one. Tempers also flares the first period comes to an end, but now we are going to move on to the second period where the Flyers are desperately trying to get back into this one, but Caden Primo, no. He just won't let him. He's been pretty hot lately. The Flyers outshoot the Canadians 9-6 in the second period, but once again, they were held off the score sheet. Now, we do get a few more scrums during the second period as well, but still, no gloves are dropping because Nicholas Delorier is not in the Flyers lineup, and I'm not sure if anybody else wants any of this smoke. God, they look angry. Now, we're going to move on to the interesting third period, where... I honestly expected Torts to lose his mind. You see, the Flyers, they get on the board early, but there's just one problem. Garnet Hathaway is pretty much going to Cristiano Ronaldo this one right into the net. Torts, he can't believe his eyes. Is that, a, is that a kicking motion? Of course it is. Look at it. It doesn't count. And a couple of minutes later, the Flyers score again. And guess what? Oh my god, Torts, your comments after the game are going to be beautiful. Offsides. Once again, we got no goal. And get a load of this. Next up, it's Nick Suzuki's turn. Yes, he's going to pull off some incredible hand-eye coordination, but he's also going to bet this one in with a high stick, and it's also not going to count. I I've never seen anything like this before. That's three disallowed goals in the span of, like, what, nine minutes? Guys, That's that's got to be some kind of a record. The Flyers are visibly frustrated. Caden Primo and David Savard continue to make save after save. Until finally, towards the end of the game, we get a goal that counts. Mario Armia, come on down. He's just, he's not even fair. He's like bringing a hand grenade to a water balloon fight. He's going to score an absolute beauty right here. One of the best goals I've seen this season. Don't even tell me about the net being empty. I love this guy. That's completely irrelevant. And it also gives the Canadians a tree goal cushion, which actually proves to be pretty important. Because with one minute remaining, Owen Tippett is finally going to beat Caden Primo, ruining the shutout. Gah! And Jake Evans scores one more empty netter to make your final score 4 to 1. Yup. Despite being heavily outshot, somehow the boys, they do it again. But here's the good news, okay? Uri Slavkovsky's point streak is now at nine games in a row, so shout out to him. And Nick Suzuki is now one point away from 70 right now. Maybe he wants to stick to 69. Who knows? All I know is he's having a career year, and it's been a lot of fun watching him. Now, next up is the Carolina Hurricanes on Saturday night. You can let me know your thoughts on this one down in the comments section, please. Before you leave here, toss that like button right in between Jack Eye and his Cubs, ensuring pretty much a death sentence. And hey, I'll see you next time.